Okay, so we're going to look at um, Fusion 360 uh, for our complete beginners. So I'll, first of all, I'll just quickly go through some of the tools, um, the basic tools you'll need for this first task. And then what we'll do is we'll design uh, a 2D sketch and we'll turn that into a 3D object. And it's just going to be a, a sort of square with rounded edges uh, face. Okay, so just sort of some of the interface. So you'll see it's a big blank screen here. Every time you start designing something, you, you need to start with uh, a sketch. So up in the top left corner over here, where it says create sketch, a little tip there as well. Every time you hover over something in one of the tools, it usually pops up with this uh, little box telling you what it is and how it works. So create sketch. Then we're presented with these three sort of yellow orange um, squares. They're called planes and they're the things that you can sketch on. So you can choose sort of which side uh, you want to start your sketch. For this one, uh, it doesn't matter too much, uh, but for this one, we're just going to choose this uh, one on the right, or it could be on the left. Okay, so we chose that, it's rotated it around just to show us that we're now going to start a sketch on that side, on that plane. And like I said before, we're going to create a square. So over here in the create menu, there's lots of different um, shape tools that you can use. Also, you'll notice up here, there's a line, rectangle, circle, etc. And we're going to use this two point rectangle, which is also in this uh, drop down menu from the create menu. There we go. Uh, first, what we're going to do is just click once, just one, one single click in the center here and start to drag out. Okay, now you'll notice these boxes on screen where it's allowing me now to put some dimension in there, some sizes. So uh, what we'll do is we'll make this 50. So we'll do five zero. And then a little tip, if you press the tab key on your keyboard, you can then change that. It's already at 50, but we'll just put 50 again. And then if you just press enter or return, we've now got this uh, solid 2D uh, outline of a square. So what we need to do now is turn this into a 3D object. And how we do that is by extruding. So first of all, we're just gonna click up here in the top right, finish sketch, because we have finished. Um, and then you'll see the tools have changed along the top. And under the create menu now, there's lots of different things. They're not related to sketching anymore. It's more to do with 3D um, tools. And the one we're looking for is extrude, which is here. And also here and if you notice next to that in the menu there's a letter e that's the shortcut key now lots of tools have shortcuts and um, so if we press the e key or click on that tool uh, it will ask us you know where, where, where do you want to extrude it's already selected for me this one side because i want to go one side but if it hadn't you could just click on there it's now asking me how how much do you want to extrude that by how much do you want to make that how thick so if we just say 30 that seems fair uh, so I type three zero, press enter. Okay, now we've got, uh, I guess it's almost a cube, it's a 3D square, right? Uh, and I'm rotating that around by either this tool down here, it's called orbit, and you can orbit around, or this box in the top right, you can use that and rotate that around, and that'll also rotate it around. Now, if you're using a mouse, which is advisable, the middle, there's the scroll wheel in the middle. If you push that down and, and move around, what that does is it pans, it moves uh, the, thing, the object around. Now, if you do the same thing, so push down the mouse wheel, but also hold shift, you can rotate that around. Okay, just a couple of tips there. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna start this face. So we're gonna need to do a sketch again. So we'll go to the create sketch button. We're gonna choose a face now, whereas before we chose a plane, you can only sketch on faces and planes. A face is just a side, basically, of your um, design. So we're gonna choose this front face. Okay, I'm just gonna zoom in, scroll the mouse wheel in and out to zoom. And what I'm gonna do now is create some circles for the eyes. And you can see under the Create menu, there's a circle tool. There's also a shortcut, which is the C key. It's entirely up to you which one you use, okay? Uh, and what we'll do is we will just draw a circle here. Let's make that maybe 10 seems fair. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna press C for circle. And I'm gonna do another one, 10 millimeters. Press enter. Don't worry where they are at the minute because what we're going to do is dimension them. So we're gonna give some sizes, all right? So if you press either this sketch dimension, you can see that tool up there, or the D key, press D. If I zoom in and choose the center point of this circle and then the very top edge you see how it's gone blue and you drag out and click i'm going to make that maybe 
12. And then I'm going to zoom in again, the center to the edge. And I think I'll make that, well, 13 seems fine as it is. So 13, enter. Now what I'm going to do to make sure it's exactly the same. So over here, go to the center, then to the top, make that 12, click in the center, the right hand side again, it's gone blue. I'm going to make that 13, same as the other one. Okay. Now I'm going to finish that sketch. And again, I'm going to extrude that. So we're going to press the E key or the extrude tool, which is over there. E key, and I'm going to select the two circles that I made, and they've, they've now gone blue, so I can see now that they're selected. And if you notice, this arrow is pointing right, and if I drag that out, it will extrude it outwards. But what we're going to do is go backwards all the way through, press enter. So now, when I rotate that round, look, you can see it's gone all the way through. Okay, we're going to do the same thing again create a sketch, choose that front face. This time, what we're going to do is go to the sketch, uh, create menu. Then we're going to go to arc and choose the three point arc. Now I'm just going to choose somewhere around about the middle of the eyes. There we go. I'm going to come down to about here. Okay, now we've got this arc, this curve we've made, and there's a tool you can use, which I'm highlighting at the top there, it's called offset. A shortcut for that is the O key. So if you press O, click on the line, and you can either drag that out or you can put in a specific number. Let's make ours four, press enter. Now it's got two lines because you've offset that line. You've made another one um, based on the geometry of the one before. But the problem is we've got these two open lines, so we need to join them together. So what we'll do is we'll go to create arc, three point arc, zoom in, scroll the mouse wheel, we're going to click on these two points at the very end and we're going to come out. There we go. It kind of stops you at a point. You, you feel it ping to a point. So that's, we know we're in the middle of the arc there. So click, click, same again. Done. Okay. Finish the sketch. We're going to go to extrude. We're going to click on the mouth. We're going to extrude that backwards again. Enter. And now what that does, rather than extrude and join, it extrudes and cuts. So now we've got this kind of weird looking mouth. Okay. The final thing we're going to do is use the fillet tool. Now that just rounds the edges of things. And we're going to do that not to make a circle, although we could, but we're just going to round the edges of this cube. So if you go to modify, which is where you would do such things, there's a tool called fillet. And it has a shortcut for F. Again, it gives you an explanation. But if we press the F key, I'm going to choose the very edge of the four outer sides. And if you see here, that line's popped up, even though I'm not round there, you can click through to the geometry. There we go. And they'll go blue. Now, if we make that maybe, let's try 10. Yeah, that seems fair. Okay, I put 10 in there. I'm going to press enter. Now, if I rotate that around, you can see it's got these round edges. The final thing we're going to do with the fillet tool again, so press the F key. We're going to select the very front outer edge and the same thing on the back. And let's make that maybe three. Just press enter. Okay, a little tip if you ever want to go back home to the um, isometric view, if you just click the little home, the little house icon at the top, there we go. So that is how you start by a sketch. You take that sketch into three dimensions, but there's a couple of tools that are useful for you there sketching onto faces, extruding, and filleting.